All right, farmers, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to have a look at the easiest ways to make money in Farming Simulator 22. So I've got three options to start with, three legitimate options, and one semi-legitimate option, but it is not the government subsidy sign. We'll get that straight from the beginning. It's not the government subsidy sign, so that's classed by some people as a cheat. So we're not going to be doing that, so I'm going to show you all the ways that I've got in front of us today. So to start off with, what we want to do, we're on a new save, we're on Elm Creek, new farmer, so we've got 100 grand in the bank. So we're going to start off with raising that starting capital. And we'll do that by going into your owned item menus. Now the start equipment on this map, is you don't need all that to start off with. I mean, you've got three tractors and you don't need three. So what we're going to do, we're going to sell two of them. We're going to keep this John Deere 7810 and we're going to sell the other two we're also going to sell the pickup truck because we don't need that we're going to sell the header trailer because we don't need that and we're going to sell both sets of weights because the John Deere that we're keeping will work with this cedar and cultivator on its own with no weight no problem so that's taken us up to 287,360. So that's now increased by nearly two times, no, nearly three times the amount that we had to start with. So that's excellent. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to go and spend that money on the equipment we need. So I'll get that done, I'll bring it all back, and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so we've got all our equipment here back on the farm. So what we've got... We've taken the John Deere up to the shop and we've upgraded it with the front loader attachment. We've then got the front loader arms and a pallet fork. We've got a water tanker, a wrapper baler, a wind rower and a set of mowers. So what you're going to want to do now, you're going to want to harvest this field and then we're going to seed this field over here and what we're going to put in here is grass so what i'll do i'll crack on with that and i'll see you once it's all done okay so we've got our field sown with the grass seed and we've harvested our wheat so what you're going to want to do now go into construction menu and we're going to put some buildings down so these are going to be the ones that are going to make you a decent bit of money. So first up, we're going to go down to chickens. And we're going to get some chickens for the farm. So you've got options there. You've got six grand for the pasture. Or you've got 79 grand for the chicken coop. Now this is where selling off your initial machinery plays a part in all of it. So you could start off with the pasture, six grand, but it only holds 30 chickens. Whereas the coop holds 360. So that's what we're going to go for. I'm going to place this down on the little field here by our silo. So we'll spin it around like so. Put it nicely on the edge. Like that. Next up, we're going, what you're going to want to do as well is go up to Productions. And we're going to put some greenhouses down. So again, you could have got the small one for three grand, but we're going to go for the large one. And having that extra money allows us to put the bigger ones down. So we're going to put one there, one there, one there, one there. And one there. So we've now got the chicken coop and five greenhouses. So this is everything that you're going to need to buy for your setup. The, the easy money setup. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and fill up this tanker and put water in the greenhouses. Now you could go and use the water tank that's on the farm, but that is going to charge you for the water. 
So what we'll do, we'll go to the pond just by the shop and we can fill up for free. Because these greenhouses do take a fair amount of water. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to nip down to the shop, I'm going to fill up the tanker. I'm going to put one tanker load in each of the greenhouses and then we'll see what's next. Right, so I'll catch you once the tank watering has all been done. Right, so that's all the water put into the greenhouses. So if we go into the production menu, we've got them all set on strawberries because that gives you the best output from the greenhouses. And we've got them all set on selling because you can make more money if you took the pallets to the shop yourselves. But as this is the easy way, we're going to sell them directly. So we haven't got any of that messing around of loading them up onto a trailer and taking them with us. So we're just going to keep putting the water in when needed and then just sell them directly so that's the greenhouses done what we've also done as well is we come to the chicken coop and we put 180 chickens in so they're going to be producing the eggs straight away because we went for uh, the older chickens rather than the freshly hatched ones so we go in there so the older chickens they're six months old so they'll start producing eggs straight away okay so we've got our chickens in we've got the 180 in there and the last thing to do to fill up and get set is to put some feed in oh i've got this front turning axle trailer don't like these hold on right let me squeeze it in here there we go so we'll load this feed in like so so then they're going to be producing eggs nicely right so what we'll do now we'll fast forward a month and we'll see what we've got okay so we've had a month's worth of growth shall we say and you'll probably notice in the date at the top we've actually fast forward two months because i forgot to put the chicken feed in so we've done that we've now got a month's worth on each so we have got there on that pallet 1024 eggs and then if we go into the money menu and we'll go down to sold products so in september we'd sold 9,892 and so far today we have sold 3,069 so that's about 12,000 we sold for one month and then with the eggs we've got 1,024 so if we look on the shop menu we'll go down to eggs and they're selling at the top price there at the bakery 3,780 for a thousand litres so that's another three grand there so that's 15 grand in total and also because it's two months gone since we started it all the grass is now ready to be harvested so have a little look over here ready to harvest and if you go onto the main menu it tells you there as well it's ready to go so what i'll do i'll get this grass mown and wrapped and we'll see what we're left with right so we've cut the field of grass we've wrapped it and now we've got three silage bales now each one of them has got three and a half thousand liters in each obviously if you are wrapping them you're going to need to let them ferment as well but if we just sold them straight away if they were ready so that's three and a half thousand at seven ten and a half thousand and then we've got two thousand litres still in the baler so that's twelve and a half thousand so that's going to be in roughly another six grand on top of the fifteen grand we've already made off the eggs and the greenhouses so that's just over twenty grand twenty grand we've made ignoring the fact that we had an extra month from the greenhouses so twenty grand in one month of work all we would have done once it's all set up is just put 
wheat or barley or sorghum into the chicken coop and water into the greenhouses. Now this is harvested obviously. It's going to regrow again so you don't have to redo the seed. So th this has got to be the easiest setup for making money. Obviously we sold off the initial machinery to get the new stuff that we needed but now it's all set up we're ready to go. You don't have to do anything different anymore. Just rinse and repeat. And this is totally ignoring the fact that we still got this field here empty. So whilst all that's going on in the background, you can be sowing some different crops in here, whatever you like, and making even more money on top. That is excellent. That has got to be the three easiest ways for me to be making money legitimately without the government subsidy mod that you can do in this game so far. So on to the last bonus one for you. So I'm going to reset it all and I'll show you what I mean. Right, so the fourth bonus option, which is kind of not legit as the other three were, is going to be this. So I'm now at field 47. So what we're going to do, we're going to buy the field. Like so. We're going to harvest the field. And then we're going to sell the field back. So we spent 64,488 buying the field. So we're going to harvest it, see how much we get off the field, and then we sell it back, see how much profit we made. So I'll get harvest in this, and then we'll see what profit we get once it's all done. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so that's all the wheat harvested off that field. So we'll take a look, see what we got. So we got just under 11,000 litres of wheat off of there. So the highest price we've got is gold crest at 975 so we'll say for easiness and maths that's going to give you what say 10 grand so we've got 10 grand of grain that we can sell then if we go back into here select that one and then hit y for sell that's going to sell the land back for 64,488 so we'll do that if we go down to our money section, you see there we bought it for 64488 and we sold it for the exact same price. So we've now got just under 11,000 litres of grain for free. And this is what I mean by maybe not 100% legitimate on this one. You know, it, there's no mods involved. Oh, some deer there. There's no mods involved, so... It is all base game stuff, so you could argue that it is legitimate, you may not. All depends on your opinion. But that is another way of making easy money. So, that's it for the easy side of it. Drop it in the comments below, which one you think was best, which one you think that you might use. And also, whether you think the field flipping is cheating or not. We'll see what people's opinion on that one is. But for me, that's it for today, and I will see you in the next one.